Okay, James, you're at your first visit to Cat Road. What do you think? Yeah, it's a nice ground. Yeah, I knew a little bit about it just when I signed and stuff. I had a little look up on the internet and stuff, and yeah, it's a really nice place. Not for nice, friendly people. How yeah, nice it is to come here for the first time and have a look around. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, obviously, I've been with Ricky today and meeting all the staff and the players and stuff and just come to visit the stadium, and I'm really enjoying it so far, yeah. Let's take you back to deadline day. That must have been a bit of a whirlwind that day for you. Yeah, it was a hectic day. Um, I think the deal actually got done a few minutes to go and stuff. Uh, but yeah, really glad to get it done and happy to be here now, yeah. What made this the right move for you? I think just the club. Um, obviously, it's got a young, hungry manager who's really, really good and he's going to have a good, uh, good managerial career in the game. And I just think it was the next step for me, a club like this. Obviously, it's a massive, massive club now at City, and I'm really looking forward to the challenge next season. Obviously, I'm still with Coventry for the rest of the season, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to the summer. What type of player are you? What, what, what can Norwich fans expect to see? Um, I'd like to think I'm a player that gets people out of their seats. Um, I'm a creative, attacking, playmaker type in that number 10 role. Um, that's my preferred position. So yeah, hopefully get the fans off their seats and give them something worth watching. You're obviously from Coventry, you've been there since you were very young. How, how tough a decision was it to, to leave? Yeah, it was really tough, you know. Obviously, I've came through the academy system at Coventry. It's my hometown club. I've gone through every stage of my development at Coventry. Finally broke into the first team last year and I played 30, 34 games or something now. And I really enjoyed my time there, but I just felt like this was the next step in my career, joining Norwich City. And um, But as I said, I'm obviously on loan till the end of the season. I'm really looking to get promotion with Coventry. That would be the perfect send-off. Yeah, your commitment between now and the end of the season is with Coventry and it's going to be an exciting run, isn't it, with promotion the target? Yeah, I mean, we've got a really good squad at Coventry and as I said, it means it means a lot to me to try and get the club promoted. As I said, it's my hometown club and it'd be a, it'd be a great, it mean a massive deal to me getting promoted for the club, so that's, that's what my focus is fully on. And I guess whatever you go on to achieve in your career, you'll always be grateful to Coventry for giving you the opportunity. Of course, yeah. It was the club there that gave me my debut and... It's been my club, it's, it's made me the player and the person I am today, so I'm truly grateful for everyone at the club that's had a part to play in my development. Obviously you're very young, but you've had a lot of experience in the professional game already. How, how key do you think that is for you going forward? Yeah, I think it's massive, you know. I mean, obviously a lot of young players around the country are on loan at the minute and stuff to gain experience, but I've already had that from a younger age. I was blooded in a little bit early. I mean, I was first on the bench as like a young 16-year-old and I've kind of been exposed to first-team football a little bit earlier than most. And yeah, I think that's only going to be beneficial to me in the long run and hopefully that can help me have an, and have a positive impact in the future with Notch City.